Okay, we're filming. Hello everyone, Jennifer here from The Daily Connoisseur and I am doing a really interesting video today. I'm going to be doing a collaboration with a bunch of other amazing YouTube ladies and we are going to be gathering up our fragments. Basically what that means is that we are gonna find items in our freezer and pantry that we would like to... Some child is banging something in the background. <laughs> We're gonna find items in our pantry and our freezer that we need to cook because we all do that. We store a lot of food and then we just keep buying new food. So I'm gonna be gathering up my fragments and cooking some really nice meals for you today. This was the idea of my dear friend, Amy Marion over at Amy Marion's channel. And she does those amazing freezer cooking videos. And she's gathered so many other awesome YouTube moms. So here is who is participating in the collaboration. Okay, we have Christine from Frugal Fit Mom. Fallon from Moss Family TV, Gabby from Mexican Cooking with Gabby, and Tressa from Tressa's Southern Home Cooking. And there might even be more ladies who are participating. So the playlist will be down below and you can watch all of our videos. If you are finding me through this collaboration, hello, my name is Jennifer and I do a lot of homemaking videos here on YouTube. So I would love it if you would stay and subscribe. Okay, without further ado, let's go back in time and I'm going to be gathering up my fragments and making some delicious meals for the family. Okay, so these are the fragments that I have gathered and I'm just gonna tell you the plan here of what I'm going to go over. So I have some frozen chicken that's been in the freezer for a while and I wanna use it. So we're going to do some pulled barbecue uh, chicken sandwiches in the slow cooker. And I got this idea from watching um, A Place to Nest, Becky's channel. She just made this on her channel last week. So it kind of put the idea in my head. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And then I'm also going to be making a really yummy kind of Mediterranean summer fish pasta. So I have this um, white fish here and I'm going to, I think this is cod, but it was frozen. So I defrosted it last night and I'm going to roast this in the oven with some herbs and butter. Then we're going to kind of crumble it up into a yummy pasta with artichoke hearts and olives and all that sort of thing. Really Mediterranean and nice. I had this in my freezer and there's not much in it. There's even less than half a bag, but I want to, you know, get rid of it, <laughs> use up my fragments. So I'm gonna be making a kind of breaded and fried ravioli, kind of an appetizer to dip into some marinara sauce. I had some um, brown rice pudding, like this is a sweet dessert and I um, defrosted some of that. And then I have this bag of greens that I wanna use up. So I'll be putting this into just various, um, dishes that I'm going to make. So this is all the stuff that I wanted to use up in the freezer. So let's begin. Okay, cue the fancy cooking music to get us in the mood and let's get started with the barbecue chicken sandwiches. I'm putting about one and a half cups of barbecue sauce here. I'm going to be putting one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I can never say that. As well as some garlic powder and I'm not really measuring it, I'm just putting in a scant, you know, teaspoon. And a heaping teaspoon of brown sugar and a little bit of oil just to keep it moist. And I'm going to mix this all together and pour it on top of the chicken breast along with a half onion chopped. Now you could make your own barbecue sauce if you want to. I don't um, generally have the time to do that and I, I have a barbecue sauce I really like so this turns out well for us. But you could just use whatever barbecue sauce recipe that you enjoy. Now I'm going to mix it all together. Now you could cook this on low for eight hours in the slow cooker or high for four hours and that's what I'm going to do here. All right, let's get started with the fish pasta dish. So I've picked these herbs, chives, and um, green onions from our garden. And I'm just going to prepare the two fillets with a pat or a few pats of butter on each, some salt and pepper. And I would use lemons if I had them, but I don't. I'm just going to put all of the chopped herbs and onions on top, and I'm going to bake them in foil. This is my favorite way to bake fish. It just keeps it really moist. You could use parchment paper if you don't like aluminum foil. And I'm just going to wrap that up and put it in the oven at about 400 degrees for 20 minutes, but you really can't overcook it when it's wrapped like that. 
an iced coffee break is always a good thing. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use up what I have in the refrigerator. So I have these extra artichoke hearts and olives if you saw my tapas um, video. So I'm going to put the pasta that I cooked into this bowl. And that's the fish after about 20 minutes of cooking. I'm going to put it all in there. I'm just going to break it up and allow those um, buttery juices to go into this pasta as well. It's just going to flavor it really nicely. This is like a sophisticated tuna salad. We're not using tuna, but um, it's like a nice seafood salad. You could put shrimp in this as well. I'm just going to put in the chopped olives and the chopped artichoke here. I'm also adding chopped apple and cucumber for sweetness and crunch. So I like different textures. And I'm going to mix this all together. And now I'm going to add some capers just to enhance that seafood flavor. And then I'm going to mix in some mayonnaise and you can just do however much you want. I'm using about a half a cup here because this is a lot of pasta, but you could use a quarter cup if that suits you better or not use it at all. You can even use olive oil, but I like the creaminess that this adds. And then I season it with some garlic salt. This dish is so good. Oh yeah, green peas too. Just add anything. I'm trying to use up my fragments here. This dish is really good. It fed my whole family and my parents, and everybody loves this meal. Ta-da! All right, let's get started with the fried ravioli. Now this is a very decadent dish and I really enjoy it. So I'm setting up my frying station with, I think that's about two eggs. And then I'm putting together some flour, breadcrumbs, and Parmesan cheese, and some no salt seasoning, as well as some garlic salt. Now I didn't measure any of it, but I hope you kind of just saw the proportions. Just play around with it. More breadcrumbs than flour, and that's kind of how I cook. All right, so at this point, it's getting late in the day, and normally I would just do one ravioli at a time, but I'm crunched for time and people are hungry, so I'm just kind of putting them all in. <laughs> I'm dunking them. So you just coat the ravioli in the egg wash, and then you put it in the breaded mixture, and then you fry them, and this is what they should look like. Okay, I'm putting this ravioli into some hot grapeseed oil because that's actually good for high temperatures. Now, I should be using my tongs here. I don't know why I'm using my hands. Don't try this at home. Just use your tongs. <laughs> I use my tongs when I flip them over. And these raviolis are so good. I actually wish that we had more in the bag. I barely got any. Um, they were just devoured and um, this, this frying technique is good. These are spinach raviolis. And so I'm just kind of flipping them over here to make sure that they fry evenly. And this is what they look like. So we serve them with a little pot of marinara for dipping and we sprinkle them with Parmesan cheese and some chopped parsley from the garden. This is so good. This makes a great appetizer, especially if you're entertaining people. It's, um, it's quite impressive with not too much work. So the following day we had these barbecued pulled chicken sandwiches and I served them on Hawaiian sweet roll hamburger buns. This was so good with a pickle and a side salad. It was a big hit. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this impromptu cooking video. Please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos like this. Thank you again to my friend Amy from Amy Marion for starting this wonderful collaboration. Don't forget to check out the other ladies down below. And I will see you next time on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye.
Jennifer here and I have a really fun and interesting video for you today. I'm doing a collaboration with some really amazing Papa. Take two. I'm doing a collaboration with some really amazing YouTube ladies on the Daily Connoisseur. <laughs> Can I speak? 